a series of days where we hold special spaces, welcoming spaces, uh, registration support spaces, teach PRD information uh, for patrons who are English language learners, who are part of the financial aid program, and or are people living with a disability. Uh, in Centro, we flipped that paradigm and we're able to just sit down and talk and learn about what individuals want and then help them navigate a system that they may not be used to to actually get them into classes and programs um, that they're really looking for for their kids that are going to make a bigger impact for them. Centro de Bienvenida, I believe, is important for our community because it brings communities together. Um, they are able to come and do recreation activities that without this event, they would otherwise not be able to participate. Centro is not about registration for programs, it's about creating those um, sincere and honest communications and connections with uh, patrons from all different backgrounds and abilities. So each family that visits us uh, for Centro is, is very unique um, and what I like is getting to know each family, getting to know who's in their family, what are their interests, where do they live, uh, what are the parks and centers that are closest to them. Whenever I get people at Centro de Bienvenida, or just in general, um, and they don't know who THPRD is or what we do, I will always get asked uh, one of three questions, maybe all three. Um, do you offer swimming? Do you do ballet classes? And do you offer sports classes? Uh, and one of my favorite parts about Centro de Bienvenida, and, or just being THPRD in general, is um, answering yes to all three but then seeing their minds being blown when I say, yes, we offer all three, but we also offer cooking classes, tennis classes, science classes, nature classes, et cetera. Um, and so I think that uh, being able to see someone who, is, who talks like them and looks like them in a space like this um, is super important because um, it, it shows that they are welcomed here and they're able to take up space um, and it's not an inconvenience for them to be here. I think it's really exciting about Centro de Benvenida is that we have recently added adaptive and inclusion services as part of the menu for our patrons to be able to come in and get that one-on-one -on -one support. It's very important to our patrons who experience a disability to have that extra time to come in and truly understand what they're signing up for in a low barrier situation. And we're really appreciative that we've been able to be part of this wonderful program. Inclusive recreation goes above and beyond uh, simply providing access to facilities and activities. It's really about making sure that everyone feels welcome, empowered, and valued to fully be able to participate. We also want to share about partnerships. Centro de Bienvenida wouldn't be what it is without the patrons themselves, people that come in, that recommend Centro de Bienvenida to other families. They are key. In addition to this, of course, we need more partnerships with organizations and the school district. So for example, a very amazing and important partner for Centro de Bienvenida is the Migrant Education Program and the McKinney Vento Program from Beaverton School District. They are key in bringing families. Sometimes we have collaborated to provide special spaces and events to support families in welcoming and registration opportunities. We also have partnered with culturally specific organizations, for example, with Kul Islam. We went to their facilities to register and welcome families there. Centro de Bienvenida and the financial aid program through Tualatin Hills Park and Rec is such an invaluable resource to our families who are experiencing housing instability. It provides uh, an opportunity for our students to engage in recreational activities that are much more flexible for them as they kind of are moving around in the community. I like working at THPRD because when they say equity and diversity, it's not just a talk, but they, um, the actions and commitments, they make a serious effort to achieve.